So following my installation of uh, an oil catch can in the 1.6 HD uh, engine in, in a Peugeot Partner, uh, you can see the video uh, in my previous videos, I really wanted to, to see if there is an increased crank, crankcase pressure uh, in the engine because there are several restrictions, so there are a few elbows here and there. I've uh, reduced uh, with an 18 mm uh, copper piece in, in the pipes that go into the catch can and overall just wanted to see if there is an increased crankcase pressure. Uh, so, um, what I decided to do, I have a, a spare uh, oil cap, I'll drill a hole, um, uh, put a piece inside, so I'll hook it up to a, uh, to a manometer to test uh, before uh, and after uh, the pressure. So in order to, to measure the current case pressure, I bought a digital uh, pressure uh, manometer, differential pressure manometer. Um, it looks something like this, it's fairly cheap. Uh, and I already tested uh, this manometer, but it, it somehow the, the pressure fluctuates, uh, fluctuates uh, constantly between minus 10 and, and plus 10 millibars. And um, I suspect that the uh, oil vapor, the hot oil vapor from, from the engine, uh, makes this, uh, renders this quite, um, quite wrong. Uh, this is rated up to 50 degrees Celsius and I suspect the oil vapors from the engine uh, oil filler cap is, is more than 50 degrees so uh, that doesn't work. So what I decided to do is do the old school technique. So this is how the uh, the oil filler cap uh, looks like. Um, so that's inside and I have hooked it up to, um, uh, to a, a, a tube, clear tube. And uh, because my digital uh, pressure uh, manometer doesn't work, so I've decided to um, do a, uh, a manual one, the old school. So this is the tube continues, so the tube really continues um, down here. So it, it has a U-bend and it's open, so it's really um, the atmospheric pressure puts a pressure on, on, on the water inside. This is just clear tap water and uh, the pressure from the engine really pulls on this. So this is really differential uh, pressure uh, as compared to the atmospheric pressure. So if the engine um, really puts pressure above atmospheric pressure, so this will drop down, this will go up. So I can measure the distance and calculate uh, how much the pressure is in, in Pascal PSI or, or millibars. And the other way around, if it, there is a vacuum, this will go up slightly, suck, and this will go down. So I, again, I can measure. So I'll measure this with the engine running uh, to, to measure how much uh, pressure there is uh, at, at idle and I'll um, reverse the setup, put the old one and again measure the same and calculate if, if, if there is any difference uh, between the two. And I suspect uh, there will be, there is a quite a, an error rate even though I'll measure this with a vernier caliper, uh, there is quite a bit of uh, um, error measurement in, in, in here. Um, I don't really have a pure uh, water and uh, the atmospheric pressure, um, no, the, the, the gravity here probably differs slightly than, than 9.81 meters per square second. Um, but if this is not really conclusive, I would have to eventually uh, put some digital um, uh, probe on the oil filler cap and then uh, properly test it on the load as well. So this is generally on idle um, and um, But it will be a good test to see if there is any restriction as compared to the to the original design.
I've started the engine. Uh, this is hooked up uh, in the in the oil filler cup. And this is uh, the manometer. So this goes in the so this goes in the engine filler cup. This is the atmospheric pressure. So I can really um, this has to be quite. Um, stable and horizontal so I can actually measure really with, with vernier caliper what, what the difference is of this as, as accurately as I can. And that's probably about right, I've measured this several times and this is roughly about 1.4 centimeters or 14 millimeters. So now to test the original design, what the pressure is with the original, so I've put the original uh, hose, so the air comes from the same place, so not to affect anything. So this is hooked up, this is inside, so really not much of a difference, I've left the catch can in, both are uh, open, so nothing really goes there. So uh, let's run it now and see what the pressure is with the, with the manual manometer. So I'm running the car with the, uh, with the original intake. And this is the uh, what the manometer is showing. Uh, I mean, I have to really put it down here. So this was the previous measurement, and this is absolutely the same measurement, 1.4, uh, 14 millimeters. And there we have it, not really, this is the uh, new design uh, with the old catch can again. There is not really any difference whatsoever, even half a millimeter of difference in, in the manometer, the difference between the, the two columns. Uh, I'll put uh, calculations on uh, what the, the pressure of those are. Of course this is under idle and the agent is warm as well, so this was done within half an hour of each other. Of course, I have to really get a probe and um, measure all these uh, restrictions, or at least the crankcase pressure with, with, with load while uh, the engine is running and, and, and it's operating in, in temperature. But so, uh, uh, but I'll do that later. So subscribe if you want to really see more updates. I'll be in a few in a thousand or so miles. I'll empty the catch can, do some chemical analysis on that, see what has been collected. How does this compare to the uh, engineer so if you really like updates on those please subscribe and hopefully enjoy that video thank you